I can't believe this is happening here. It's horrible! Whew. Thank them too, my manager's here. Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a soup. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite. No cheese! Ah, oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Press the jump button to astoundingly leap off the ground in a defiance of gravity. Press the jump button twice to double jump for two times the gravity defiance of a regular jump. scared here, man. You got a name? Uh, Phil. You got a family, Phil? <laughs> I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Order up. Hooray! Gary, I had that dream again, and it's finally gonna come true, because today's the grand opening ceremony for the Krusty Krab 2 where Mr. Krabs will announce the new manager. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krabs' success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far off and dangerous land of Shell City. SpongeBob selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. Patrick Squidward and I... Pass! Er, uh, uh, Patrick and I... Hi. ...are gonna get that crown back and save you from Neptune's wrath. Your life is in our hands. Oh. Patrick? Let's go get that crown. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. You two dipsticks ain't gonna last ten seconds over the county line! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> Out of the car, fellas. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Just fine. I'm really scared here, man. You got a name? Uh, Phil. You got a family, Phil? <laughs> I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Order up. Hooray! Gary, I had that dream again. And it's finally gonna come true. Because today's the grand opening ceremony for the Krusty Krab. Where Mr. Krabs will announce the new manager. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krabs' success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far off and dangerous land of Shell City. SpongeBob selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. Patrick Squidward and I... Pass! Er, uh, uh, Patrick and I... Hi. ...are gonna get that crown back and save you from Neptune's wrath. Your life is in our hands. Oh. 
Magic? Let's go get that crown. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. You two dipsticks ain't gonna last ten seconds over the county line. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Yes. Out of the car, fellas. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. We're not going to get the ground standing here. On to Shell City!
road three steps up ahead. Where's the road? Road! 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 There's the road! On the other side of this deep, dark, dangerous, monster infested trench. Well, hey, where are you going? I'm going home, Patrick. But what about Mr. Krabs? What about us? We'll never survive in that trench. This is man's country. And let's face it, Pat, we're just kids. Oh, you're right, SpongeBob. We are kids. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache. So do you. We're in. Where's the road? Road, road, road. There's the road. On the other side of this deep, dark, dangerous, monster infested trench. Well, hey, where are you going? I'm going home, Patrick. But what about Mr. Krabs? What about us? We'll never survive in that trench. This is man's country. And let's face it, Pat, we're just kids. Oh, you're right, SpongeBob. We are kids. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache. So do you. We're, We're invincible. invincible. Yeah. That is how SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the trench full of hideous, disgusting monsters. Standing in their way is a field full of stanky garbage. But with Shell City somewhere on the other side, they have no choice but to push on.
SpongeBob and Patrick discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City. King Neptune's crown lay nearby. And so, after escaping the Cyclops, our heroes arrive back home. But it is a much, much different place from the one they left. And perhaps most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krab. Bob, what happened? Plankton cheated. Okay. Yeah. Two minutes behind the 